Hi everyone, welcome to my next tutorial. This look is meant to be the Phantom of the Opera, as you maybe have recognized already, and I think that's a really recognizable look, a really recognizable character. And I just tried, of course, to add a twist, and I decided to not take a separate mask and just create a wound right under the mask. I just tried to create the illusion of the mask cracking off my face, and that's the final look I can show you. Beauty and Beast, <laughs> something like that. So, nothing more to say about this look. And if you just want to know how to recreate this look and turn into the Phantom of the Opera, stay tuned. So, let's start. Here we are. Um, to keep this video short, I did the half of my face with a beauty makeup routine, which I'm not going to show you now. I just link you um, the link to my channel where I did a complete beauty makeup right in the description box below. I covered my eyebrow uh, on this side of the face, of course, and I outlined the area where I'm gonna do the latex and the mask. And at first, I will follow the, the outline with this scar wax and my spirit gum. And I take a Q-tip for that to just follow the line. And as you could see, just try to stay into the circle, into the inner circle, just to make sure that you don't glue your complete hair or baby hair with the spirit gum and yeah. Now just let it get tacky. Alright, next step for you. I take my scar wax by Crowner and the spatula. Just scratch that out. And then you need something with a greasy base. This is petroleum jelly. Take that between your fingers so you can just work better with your wax doesn't stick that much so here we are and try to just build up a snake so when you form the snake you just take it and then lay it down on your spirit gum base So, and kind of blend that into your spirit gum, remaining spirit gum, and of course into your skin. And we want to do that all around our face. Yeah. So, I just tried it with the spatula at first, but I replaced the spatula for um, a brush because the brush has a round tip and uh, you can just mold it easier with this tip and always dip the tip into your petroleum jelly as far as the handle sticks onto the wax. Take your finger to just hold the wax in place. It's uh, way easier to mold then and to blend it into your skin actually and yeah do that all over the wax line of course as you can see it blends quite easy and then I took my spatula again and just build up the, the sharp edge of my mask to make it more visible and as well I took my finger to just hold it in place be careful it's kind of fragile so yeah go all over ever so slightly and then you are all right with your mask as well
Okay, here I am again. Um, the wax is completely blended into my skin, as you can see. And the next step is I will seal the complete line of wax with a Q-tip and a little bit of liquid latex to just make sure it's, it will stay in place because wax is a little bit tricky to work with. Um, as far as you begin to sweat, the wax will come off, the spirit gum will not last any longer, and yeah, that's my experience. So. I just seal the wax completely with the latex now. That's the next step, and then I'm gonna do, um, gonna cover the complete remaining area in liquid latex as well. Stay tuned. Hello again, so the area is completely covered in latex, I did four layers and if you don't want to play the waiting game you just take a blow dryer and it goes very very fast with that. So my face is kind of static, so the wax is completely sealed but be a little bit careful, it's fragile anyway. So I'm gonna take, now I'm gonna take the cotton wool, rip that into yeah, very very slight small pieces. I'm gonna take some latex again, go all around my my edges of the mask and gonna glue them on to just get a kind of a fleshy base, fleshy looking base. And that's the next step for you. Stay tuned. So here we are again, and my fleshy base is made, as you can see, just try to stay out of your hairline because you don't want to glue your hair with liquid latex, it's tricky to get off, so try to avoid it. And the next step is the paint job, and the last step, of course. So for the paint job, I take at first white. Um, this area will completely be white, and I take watercolor makeup by Orange Bee. And a simple acrylic brush to just paint it on because latex hates every every kind of shadow, eyeshadow, or pigments, loose pigments. You don't get them on; it will not stay. So just take the grease paint or take watercolor makeup. It works very good. So at first, I'm gonna paint this area completely in white. So to finish my look, I will just create a little bit of depth all around my mask. And therefore, I take as a base the watercolor makeup from Grimace Ben number five zero four, and my Ben I Bruce wheel, Master Bruce wheel, um, the E W four, and just take those red tones, a little bit of the purple and um, the dark blue, go all around the edges, I'm gonna blend that right out on every area and take a little bit of eyeshadow to create depth in my eye and then I'm finished. See you then.
So here I am again with my final look and I just added a little bit more depth. As you can see all around my mask I just blended out the edges to not get them harsh and I just created the illusion that my mask ripped off my face and or cracked off my face. So that's it. I did some little bit of contouring uh, at the cheekbone and the temple because all the masks I saw just had the shape of the face of the phantom and that's it. That's the final look. I want to do something with my hair and get a shirt on and maybe a hat and then I'm back for saying goodbye. So here I am for the final say goodbye. My look is completely finished. I decided to just style my hair to not take a hat because the hat doesn't fit and that's the possible outfit for it. I think you could take just take a cape for it to just go with the concept and here we are. And if you just like what you see Leave me comments below in the comment section as always. Get me feedback, get me thumbs up, make me happy, <laughs> and subscribe my channel if you like. So, yeah, that's it. A possible Halloween look for you. If you want to see more tutorials, just check my videos. There are several looks for Halloween which you could just recreate. And yeah, that's it. I just have to say, see you next time. Bye bye.